Okay, so now we're in the dumbbell bicep curls. So there's no mad need to be doing these, really. Um, they're always a popular exercise because people, especially lads, want to do it for the beach and look good and all that sort of stuff. But if you're doing your pull-ups and your press-ups and everything else and your diet's good, you know, the biceps will be getting enough work in anyway. But um, we're just going to kind of flick through these just to show them because uh, people are going to do them anyway, so we may as well kind of just show them. So if you get your dumbbells, you just want to keep, again, having nice and steady and straight, hands by the side, again, a wee bit of bend in the elbows, and drive right up to the shoulders. Nice and slowly, up and down, and just if you see a side angle, just keep it nice and smooth. Okay, a real good trick to maximize it is as you're coming up, you want to maybe get a friend, or you can do it if you do it one arm, put the finger right tucked in here at the elbow, come in and really try and squeeze as if you're trying to crush that finger, which will help work the base up a lot more and you'll just be kind of conscious of it and you'll do a lot more work. So if I'm here like this, just one dumbbell, and I come up, try and squeeze, crush my finger, and back down. So I can already feel that, that you're getting a lot more work in, and uh, you're just working the bicep a lot more, so you'll add that in. Again, there's loads of variations of it. You can do 21s for the biceps, so a great job. If you are doing bicep curls, try and do them with a barbell. It's a good long barbell, add a bit of weight if you need that. Um, it's a great way of doing it. Do 21s on a barbell, it's tough going and a great way just to, to really fill them up and get good benefit out of it. And of course, you have the hammer curls and things like that as well. Um, so yeah, that's bicep curls. Thanks for watching.